Bodega Inurieta um, started in uh, 1999, officially, planting the first vineyards with the first 25 hectares. And then in 2001, more or less, that's when we had the first vintage. And when officially, you know, the winery was inaugurated. So we're talking about 2001 first vintage. And then in 2003, 2004, that's when we had enough wine, you know, to, to go to the export markets. The, the, the company is a family-owned company. And they give us plenty of flexibility, you know, to the winemaker, you know, and to the salespeople, you know, to, to come up with our own decisions. And, you know, the fact that we have our own uh, vineyards, you know, helps a lot because we can basically, you know, we have, uh, we don't have limits, you know, on, on which, uh, you know, uh, we have limits on the varieties, but we have limits, you know, on, on which type of products, you know, we can, we can produce. And, you know, with, with the flexibility that your own vineyards give you, and plus the mentality of the uh, people behind the project, then, then it's really, uh, you know, I think it's, it's very special. But again, Norieta's varieties are six varieties. Uh, we have the local varieties and international varieties. Uh, the local varieties are uh, Garnacha and Graciano, and the international varieties are Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Shiraz, and Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. So we are actually kind of a pioneers, you know, on, on, on two varieties, you know, the Shiraz and the Sauvignon Blanc. The funny, well, some of the, the anecdotes, you know, that uh, sometimes uh, you get, you know, when you, when you travel, is that people that have been tasting our wines in, in, you know, in Germany or in the United States, you know, when they, when they taste the wines, you know, and they see the structure, the color, the fruit, you know, and, and all the aromas, you know, they, it's funny because they, they ask you, you know, how old the vineyards are. And you say, look, uh, you know, the winery is eight years old, you know, it's vineyards 1999, so 10 or 11. And they get really surprised because there's always this association that all vineyards will give you fantastic wines, which they are, but it's not that you have to wait 25 years, you know, to make a fantastic wine. Even with vineyards that are 10, 12, or 11, if you control, you know, the growth uh, or the the, uh, the the harvest, you know, the amount of kilos that you get per, per hectare, you can come up with great wines. We, we believe that we're innovators. I mean, we believe in the potential of Navarra, and you know, the fact that there are certain varieties that you can grow, and there's some other ones that you cannot grow, will put some limits, you know, on 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 sometimes, you know, on the things that you can do. And when you see something in the market, you know, and, and, and you have a new project, which is less than, than eight years old, and you want to be different, you know, uh, uh, yeah, we, we had to be innovators. You know, we had to differentiate ourselves from the competition from a sales and marketing point of view. We are available right now in New York, in the state of Virginia, state of Texas, uh, state of California, and state of Oregon. So uh, we do have um, more or less a distribution warehouse in New York and, you know, when, when sometimes it's not ready, you know, to take a full pallet directly from the winery, they can order from, uh, from New York.